For most people, the D.C. High School Football Championship happened on Thanksgiving, but this year things have changed. That's right, because for the first time, the title will be decided by one last game between the D.C. Public School Champion and the Charter School Champion. Kimberly Suters is live now to explain. Kimberly. And that game's happening right here tomorrow at Howard University's Green Memorial Stadium. You know it has a beautiful turf field, and that's something that Dunbar, the defending public high school champs, are used to. They've got a very similar field to that. Their opponent, representing the charter schools, uh, it's quite a different story. This is Friendship Beach. This is where we practice. I think we get a mental edge on people. Don't just stand up. Let's go. It humbles you. Their locker room's a shed. Their weight room, an old classroom. The field at Friendship Collegiate Academy, a charter school in Northeast, is littered with rocks, glass, sometimes syringes, sometimes worse. Unfortunately, we've seen death. You know, we've seen robberies, you know. I mean, they see everything here. And it reminds you every day, you still have work to do. Even without a home field the last nine years, head coach Azar Abdul Rahim has built a football program where college coaches come to recruit, where more than half the team's seniors have NCAA scholarships. Adversity is good, you know, because it's going to be bigger things than just a field. Quarterback Ryan White has a full ride to play for Bucknell University, but it's Saturday's game that means everything to him right now. Storybook, you know, you're saying, yeah, you graduate, you get the chance to play for the first. DC title game, you get a chance to answer a lot of questions without having to say anything. Like, can this charter school team really compete against defending public school champs Dunbar? We're just trying to get get them guys to get some energy about this game and recognize that you guys can go down in history. At the ceremonial coin toss, it is friendship won. And when the teams tested out the perfect turf at Howard University's stadium, the Knights celebrated a home field advantage they've never had before. And so the first ever history-making D.C. high school football championship game kicks off here tomorrow at 2.30. Reporting live in Northwest, Kimberly Suters, ABC 7 News. Oh,